Right, it's moving day. I'm starting right here. Enfield lock is the first lock we're going to go through and carry on up through Enfield or Enfield Island on the right hand side. There's where the River Lee joins in and exits. Carry on up to Rami Marsh Lock, past the M25, and pull up here at Waltham Abbey. You can see as we zoom out, we're right beside Waltham Abbey Skate Park. I have painted that bit. Can I show you my varnishing? <gasps> Look at the varnish steps. So shiny. So there is a skip along the route and I don't know I'm not gonna pull up Linda and raid the skip but I am gonna pull up Georgia and raid the script skip I often get asked is taking down the mast that difficult it really isn't it's just to unbolt a few things and it's a bit of a process but we just start by lifting up the panels so the counterweight can come up now just take that off the mast will not come down with the boom over there. It has to move to this side for the mast to be able to go down. Otherwise it would just collapse on top of the boom. Now that that's out of the way, I can bring the mast down. Now for the balancing act. Now, just lower the mast. Boop. Needs a little gentle persuasion, so I'm just pulling it up. And here we go. And that's it. The mast is down but we're not finished yet. I get asked, why don't I just leave the mast down? And this is the reason why I don't leave the mast down, is because I won't be able to get in and out of the door and all of these cables are everywhere. So now to make it at least comfortable while I'm cruising, I have to tie up all the cables. Much tidier. Okay, now we start the engine. I'm in the engine room and to start this boat, this lever has to be pulled out. This is the coal start and it increases the amount of fuel from the fuel pump into the cylinders. I've hooked up the battery, I've turned the fuel on. Alright, let's get going. Okay, so now we're all set up, so let's just push off. Uh, why are we not pushing off? Oh, we are. I feel like Jean-Claude Van Damme right now. I don't know if you can see, but it's still very deep down there. I think we're a little bit beached. Um, I think I'm sort of beached just there. It looks very shallow there. The plumes. So I'm going to reverse out. Uh, maybe actually. Well, maybe I won't reverse out. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just drive off. I think I'm sufficiently far enough out now to give her a blast. Let's just do it. Again. Okay. What I'm going to do this. I'm going to push out the back like so. I just went down to the middle and just pushed her out from the middle, and that was enough. Um, I seem to have been sucked into the bank, so we should be good to go. Yep. OK. 
Okay, let's rock and roll. There's the skip with all the goodies in it, just there. Hmm, this is Paddy's Enfield Dry Dock. And now for a cuteness overload. Okay, so I've gone up and set the lock. So we're ready to go in. It's gonna be a bit tight under the bridge, but it'll be fine. Don't panic, Kathy. My hands are going to be nowhere near the mast. That much. these guys doing it all for me. the other reason why I bring the dinghy that's my platform to reach in but you can see the way the water is only coming out on one side it should be coming right down the middle that's the River Lee so it sort of pops in and goes straight out down there there's the river coming in there's the river going out. Thankfully, this one is operated by the key. Press the two buttons, and away it goes. They have a west gate and an east gate, and that's going to be handy when I'm bringing Georgia through. Because they only need one gate to get Georgia through. However, because Georgia is uh, so big, um, she fills the lock, so there's no bouncing around within the lock, so you can open both gates and just go for it. But Georgia, you can't do that. Of course, the problem with Linda is that you have to open up both gates. And with opening both gates, there's no way of getting back across the lock, so you have to walk all the way up to the end and back around. But that's not the case with Georgia, because you only have to open one gate. You'll see what I mean. However, however, I'm telling a little bit of a lie. Because I could just skip across Linda. In fact, that's exactly what I will do. Do-do-do-do. 
This will do nicely. Okay, so we're moored. Um, it's very industrial around here. That's good for welding. Now, yeah, it's just a small matter of raising the mast. Tiller in the middle so it doesn't get caught. Nothing can get caught under the tiller there. It can't be there. It has to be up there. And same on this side. And then it should go up in one go. Hmm, let's see. Of course, after all that, gotta put it back together again. Put that in place there, then bolt it back up. Okay, that's everything done. It's time for me to get on my bike. It's time to move Georgia. Oh, look who's over there. Simple as that, no mask, nothing else. So to be fair, um, there is the skip, the skip of nice things. Um, what I'm going to do, rather than uh, trespass onto the land, because um, I could just moor up here and wander over, but um, rather than trespass, I will wait until it's opening hours. So I won't do it today because it's Sunday evening now, and I'll come back. Uh, during the week on the bicycle because uh, there's one or two things I can get the other thing is I can sit Stairs.
how easy that is when you only have one gate to open and close. This is a deep lock. When the water comes out, it's gonna shoot across, hit the wall and push Georgia up against the wall, keeping it in place. If I open both of them, Georgia will go for a nice journey and bounce around the entire lock. I can't open up the other sluice, otherwise the turbulence would send Georgia flying. What an idiot. Half the time that that was running through, I'd forgotten to drop the two sluices down at the other end, with the result that the water was just flowing straight out the other side. Idiot. Anyway, good news. Uh, we can now open the sluice on this side because it's pretty much halfway up and um, it won't be as turbulent. It hasn't moved an inch. We only have to open one gate. So uh, it's a little bit easier. The other thing that makes narrow boats actually fun is that you're on the very end of the boat. So, you know, there's the water. So you sort of have complete control um, because you're at the very back of the boat. With Linda, you don't have that. Linda's, you know, there's so much more behind you. But here, yeah, you're right over the tiller. What a nice evening it's turning out to be. There's Georgia nicely camouflaged. And there's Linda. That worked out really nicely now the two boats are beside each other. Um, only one teeny weeny 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 problem. And there's the pump out, hose. Out of service. One of the things I'm planning for Linda, and I have the pump and various bits and pieces, and I just have to install it, is a self-pumping system. Uh, the only thing I'm deciding on is the switch, but I'll come to that. But basically what I could do in a situation where the pump out is not working, um, pump the effluent into a tank, walk the tank over to this thing, and this is called an LSAN, and this is a waste disposal where you can just, it's, it's just a toilet, effectively, and just pour it in there. Um, the benefit of that is it's a bit more work because you're transferring your waste over physically um, whereas this is way more convenient because you can just pump it out um, however one is free and the pump out isn't Ooh. this is the skip and it's a, a, a sort of like a media company that uh, does um, events and stuff so they end up making lots of flats I'm assuming these are bespoke and that's why they throw them away. But there's some interesting things here, so I'm gonna grab, this is some vinyl. It may have absolutely no use, but it's brand new. It's got a bit of dust on it. I have some felt um, and I have another piece of material, which is looks like some sort of polyester. I'm gonna take these frames and these bits of woods and I'm gonna pop them over to Michael's boat and he's gonna bring them up later. This is Paddy's Enfield Dry Dock. I talked to the guys in the office and they went, yeah, gotta just help yourself to whatever you want. I've left this on Michael's boat so that uh, when he joins Linda later on, uh, he can bring the wood up for me because there's no way I can carry it all the way back to Linda. I did talk to the staff um, and they said to me, yeah, people are welcome to come in, just do it during opening hours uh, for the very simple reason that the security team if you come after hours will be concerned about why you're wandering around the place. Cycling on the towpath is so gay every single day. What a wonderful time to be alive. Just don't cycle into a beehive and everything will be Stay. 
So I'm gonna give the vinyl a go. Aha! Well, we'll see how long that lasts.